I want to share something with you that I learned here recently. Now, this may sound cliche. You may have even heard this before, but I want to share this with you anyway. I learned here recently that you just can't control everything in your life. There's some things that's in your life that will be out of your control. All right, let, 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 let's get that fact down right now. There are gonna be some things in your life that you just cannot control. But there's one thing in your life for sure that you can control, and that's you. You can control the way you react to things. You can control your emotions. They're here for a reason. Anger is not a bad thing. But anger is a bad thing when it's used in a bad way. You understand what I'm saying? You always want to be the one in the room with your light on. Think about that for a moment. You always see the image of when someone on television has an idea and all of a sudden the light comes on in their head. You want that person to be you. You always want to be the one in the room with your light on, even when you're in the room by yourself. Les Brown said, it's going to be hard, but it's possible. So I want you to think about what I'm saying right now. This is not going to be preachy. I just want to let you know that I love you. And you can find it in yourself to love yourself. You can find it in yourself to cut all the excuses. Because right now, the time is now. A friend of mine said the other day, and it's so profound. He said, if tomorrow is not promised, why put it off for the next day? I'm going to say that one more time. He said, if tomorrow is not promised, why put it off to the next day? worry about what you don't have. Be grateful for what you do have. Think about the resources you do have. One thing I found out here recently was this. If I don't have it, it's because of two things. Now, this is my philosophy, okay? If I don't have it, it's because of two things. It's because it's on its way and I don't have it yet, but it's on its way, or it's not meant for me. It's going to corrupt me and mess me up. Think about that, too. Write that down. Write that one down. All right? We're all going through something in life. We're going through financial problems. A lot of us are having financial issues. But I discovered something that was real profound. God spoke to me one morning and he said this to me. He said, the devil wants you to be in worry and in debt. But I want you to be worry free and abundant and plentiful you think about that right there you can do it